Early Saturday morning, two vehicles collided at the crossroads of Skyland Boulevard East and Interstate 20 59ths, leaving two local adolescents dead and two others injured, according to the Tuscaloosa Police Department. According to local media reports, a 2022 Tesla and a semi-truck crashed about 1.50 a.m., pinning the vehicle under the trailer and trapping the four occupants inside. The fatalities were not named by authorities, but numerous social media posts from their loved ones indicated that the accident occurred just after Bryant High School's prom. The posters named the driver as 17-year-old Madison Sims, a student at Bryant High School, and the passenger as 18-year-old Sandwell Brown, also from Uniontown. On-the-spot deaths were declared for both. According to his Facebook, Brown played both football and basketball as a senior at R.C. Hatch High School. He shared his senior pictures and sentiments on leaving high school in January. After the terrible accident on Friday, Sims posted a photo college of the two teens to Facebook, which has now been shared nearly 15,000 times and had over 18,000 reactions. Taylor stated that a female age 18 was taken to UAB Hospital in Birmingham with critical injuries, and a female age 17 was taken to DCH Regional Medical Center in Marion with minor injuries but is in good condition as of Saturday M. The accident's root cause has yet to be determined. Tuscaloosa City Schools released a statement from spokesperson Lydia Avant saying they were devastated by the news of the incident. I know that this is a challenging time for our students, faculty and staff, she stated. Counselors and social workers will be available to students on campus on Monday to assist them deal with the effects of this tragedy. In the coming days, we will continue to provide counseling services to our pupils. Our EAP is available to all faculty and staff members. Our hearts go out to the families affected, and we ask that their privacy be respected as they go through this trying time. Thanks for watching.